What is the meaning of this? That just means we multiply. And what about now? Oh, you're gonna have to stick around to the end of the episode to find out what it really means. Let's talk about the different ways we write multiplication. We use this guy, the X, most commonly for multiplication. Now you know what two times five is. That's an easy one. That's an easy warm up. It's a whopping 10. But we don't just use the X, we also use the asterisk. Now, here's an easy way to illustrate this. Sometimes the asterisk has four lines, sometimes it has less lines, but it's all still the same symbol. Three times four. Razor Crest times Luke Skywalker. No, not the Razor Crest times Luke Skywalker. Three times four. This, again, is the asterisk. Asterisk. I'm from the South. I don't pronounce things the way they should. <laughs> should be pronounced. Three by four, you know that one. That's easy, that's 12. All right. Let's do this the easy way. Negative three dot two. That is equal to not Luke Skywalker, but negative six. So that dot there just means times. All right. Last but not least, we have parentheses. Five by five. Here's another one that you already know. Five by five, five squared, that's 25. But what are these curved lines? These are known as parentheses. P-A-R-A-N-T-H-E-S-E-S. -E -E they just mean you're going to multiply. But it can also mean that you just need to focus on what's inside the parentheses. What? We'll talk about that after a quick message from our sponsor. This episode is brought to you by Snacks. Don't leave home without them. That's a lot of dots. What, what this happened here? What, what's going on here? Let's do two by five plus one. Now, the parentheses mean that we need to focus on what's inside here. It also means we're gonna do multiplication. So you can put a dot there to reinforce that you are multiplying. Well, what's five plus one? That's a good old six. So this is the same thing as two, two by six. Welcome. Okay, so you're really talking about multiplication here when you have these parentheses. So two by six is a good old, nope, not a Lego character, not a toy brick, definitely Eight. not that. <laughs> it's 12, two by six is 12. Let's try another one, something that's harder, because you're getting bored, I can see it. Negative two by four plus three. Again, the parentheses here really mean you are multiplying, and it also indicates that we have some action going on that we need to resolve. Four plus three, you already know that one, that's a good old seven. So this is really two, two, two by seven. What's two by seven? You already know the answer to that. Two by seven is 14. Yeah. Big explosion. Thank you, thank you, sir. Whoa! If you have learned something, don't subscribe. We don't need any more subscribers. Oh! But don't go anywhere, we have more for you. And there's even a bonus content section if you're a part of the Greater Gators class. Thanks for watching. May the Almighty bless you with even more and more math knowledge. We'll see you next time. Bye. Two parentheses, banana plus apple. Now, what is that? Well, it literally just means you have banana plus apple plus banana plus apple, because you have two of them. But what is banana plus banana? Banana, banana plus banana equals two. That's right, two bananas. And what's apple plus apple? Apple plus apple plus two apples. Two apples, correct. So, we have the final answer here. Two bananas plus two apples. That is what 
we get when we work on two parentheses, which really just means times, banana plus apple. Close parentheses. Yes, very good. Very good. All right. In the bonus section here, we have four by six parentheses, five 